what is force to understand the force we need to know what actually causes motion we know there are different types of motion uniform and non uniform but we still have not understood what causes motion why does the speed of an object change with time do all motions require a cause if so what is the nature of this cause so we know in everyday life there are certain objects which we use which change its motion for example there is an object a box and a person is trying to push it or the same thing same box a person is trying to pull it so by pushing and by pulling the person is trying to move the object it can be in a different direction or in the same direction but the effect of this is a motion of this object the object is moving so how it happens there is an effect there is something which is applied on this object for it to move so let's understand now the force force can only be explained or felt or it can be tasted it means it can be experienced in this case if you see let's take another example wherein you have a spring and we stretch it we just stretch it from one end then the spring becomes so it's been pulled from both ends then the spring stretches and then its dimension changes so it appears that the effect here is the shape and size has changed take another example wherein a person is playing with a tennis racket and the ball hits the racket and changes its direction so from these examples let us see what we understood when we apply a force which can be defined in a simple way as a push or pull or a hit on a body so we are pushing an object or pulling an object or stretching or hitting we are getting an effect wherein the object changes its motion or changes its direction or changes its shape or changes its size so let's see by applying the force which is a pull or push things like that what happens basically let us take different actions that happens and the effects that are created on the object let's say for example the actions that can take place are pushing or pulling or lifting or stretching or twisting or pressing with these various actions that take place on the objects what we can do is you can move a stationary body or you can stop a body or you can change the direction of the body the motion or you can change the size of the body or you can change the shape of the body like in the example where you can squeeze a ball you just squeeze it between the two hands when you keep pressing it the ball elongates 
the pressure is put by the hands from both sides and the ball just elongates. So change shape of the body and so on. So from this we can define the force as in fact in different ways. The first way is a push or pull on a body is called force. Or a force is an influence which tends to set a stationary body in motion or stop a moving body. Or a force is an influence which tends to change speed and direction of a moving body. Or a force is an influence which tends to change the size or shape of the body. This particular understanding we arrived at on force by the great scientists Isaac Newton and Galileo Galilei.